Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel for our website. Okay, so the website may be uh, the e-commerce or dating or some other website we are going to make but for all the website we require the basic admin panel and that we are making first of all. So in this video we are going to insert the record into the admins table with the help of seeder. See seeder or seeding helps us to insert the data into the tables and we are going to insert the admin panel data here i am going to show the admins table that we have created last time we are able to create the admins table and now we are going to add at least one entry into the admins table by which we are able to log in into the admin panel okay so this entry we are not going to insert this entry like this but we will use the seeder command to insert this entry and this command will help us to insert more entries into the table and any table in laravel anytime okay so we are going to do that in this video and i want to show you that in the last video we able to protect our routes like if we will try to open the dashboard route it will not open uh, here because we have created the admin middleware to protect the routes and here uh, we have make that admin middleware group in which we will uh, put all the routes that we are going to protect if i will bring this route outside of this group then this is unprotected and we can open this one here you can see i i have put this dashboard out of the admin middleware group so now i can able to assess the dashboard page but we will uh, keep it inside the admin middleware group because we want the user to log in first after that the user can able to uh, assess the dashboard and other features of the admin panel okay so uh, now in this video we are going to add the one record with the help of seeder so let's start working on this thing so i'm going to run the uh, seeder command first of all okay so uh, i will go to my project this is my project folder if you are in windows you can go inside the folder and can run your command uh, but i'm in mac i'm using mac so i'm going to run the command like this new terminal at folder and here i'm going to create a php artisan make seeder and i'm going to make like admins table seeder okay so the file will get created in which i'm going to uh, admins table seeder i'm going to add the entry but first of all I am going to include the admin model that we have earlier created okay so we can see that we have the admin model here uh, you can check in uh, here at the top this is the admin model that we are going to include here use app models admin okay so after including this one uh, so uh, one more thing that we want to use the hash password here in admins record here the, we can see the password and in laravel we are going to store the password in hash format see uh, in uh, core php or uh, 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 in other frameworks maybe uh, we can use the md5 but here uh, we will use the hash password uh, in laravel that is the most protected okay so uh, now uh, we are going to uh, use the hash we are going to use the hash here hash class here uh, so that we can generate the hash password and we are going to first of all generate the password uh, I'm going to generate here simple fast password first of all hash and I'm going to convert uh, one two three four five six otherwise we can also generate the random password but we will uh, generate the one two three four five six password right now later on the admin can up, able to update his password by logging into the admin panel uh, chain password uh, functionality we will add okay once the admin login into the admin panel okay so this is the password uh, that we will make and see hash will convert it to the hash password okay so uh, admin records now i'm going to add the admin records array i'm going to add the array for it admin records i'm going to make it like this and here i'm going to add one entry id one name i am going to make the name as admin complete entry we are going to add whatever required name 
uh, after that type type is the admin later on we will also add the sub admins okay admin can give privilege to the sub admin to assess the roles and modules okay roles and permission then mobile any mobile number we can give here okay like nine eight one two three four five six seven eight okay like this after that email email we can use any email i am going to use the dummy like uh, uh, admin at the rate of admin.com like this okay after this uh, see password uh, password we have already generated dollar password that is one two three five five six uh, but it will store in the hash format in database then image image we will keep it empty for now and lastly uh, there is the status for status we will keep uh, admin active okay so this is the entry and we are going to insert this entry admin insert we can simply insert this entry, ad, uh, entry in admin uh, in admin table okay in admin model here this record we are going to insert okay so uh, we are going to update dat database seeder here we are going to call this admin table seeder this is the process of getting the record in the table okay you can use this process if you want to use otherwise you can simply create the record uh, in php my admin as well okay here we will call this admin uh, table seeder class like this okay okay fine and now uh, finally we will run the command php artisan dbc to insert this record and now we are going to run php artisan dbc and let's see if we able to run see uh, it has been created seeding database okay running done okay we're go going to see that whether the entry has been created you can see the entry has been created uh, with the name admin type admin mobile this one email admin at the of admin.com password hash generator password you can see it is the secure password generated with the hash format okay uh, that the laravel uh, accepts okay so image is empty right now and status is active okay so we able to generate the entry for the admins table so in the next video we are going to use this entry to log in into the admin panel okay so you can uh, simply add this with the help of cedar you can add the entries uh, into the tables with the help of cedar like this in any tables you can add the multiple entries as well just you require to repeat this one to create the multiple entries okay you can create as many entries as you want just you need to make the id sorry id as one two three four five okay like this okay and make sure uh, here uh, the email must be unique okay i think uh, okay email uh, must be unique here you we can give here uh, something like admin one two three four five okay rest we can keep same now see what will happen i'm going to uh, run this one and let's see that how many records come and php audition db seed uh, okay so it is showing duplicate entry one it is still showing that uh, uh, there is the duplicate entry okay so it is the duplicate entry we need to empty first of all because the record with the one uh, already exists so i'm going to make it empty now i will run the command once again okay uh, and this time it it works and you can see how many entry come see five entries come okay so you can uh, add multiple data with the help of cedar okay in any of the table not only admins but in any of the table okay so another way to add the data here you can add from here also and if you want to generate the password not from the script there is the another website that you can assess, assess that is the bcrypt generator and you can open this website and you can also generate the password from here like if you want to generate the password one two three four five six uh, you can encrypt and it will create the uh, hash password for you and this password you can also store uh, while creating the entry when one manual entry i will create for you like admin okay uh, here the type is admin and mobile any mobile number nine seven one two three four five six seven eight okay and email any email like amit at the rate of admin.com okay 
and now the password we have already generated the hash password i'm going to copy this password here and email will keep empty and status one and we'll click on go and this entry will get created you can see it get created and we can check there okay entry has come up here as well amit at the date of admin.com so you can also create the entry here as well if you want but in laravel we have we have to uh, we have to know the new things that the laravel knows uh, because if you don't have the php my admin uh, in any of the website some of the clients don't have this c panel uh, they just can run the commands in terminal they will just provide you the terminal in that time it is really useful uh, to uh, to run uh, the cedar command and insert the data and also with the migration we can able to create the tables and update the tables as we have done earlier okay so migration as well as the cedar command helps us without using the php my admin uh, can uh, play a major role in laravel okay so you can use this command so once again i'm going to make it empty and i just required one record okay i'm going to make it empty and we'll undo this one all we don't require at all just we will keep it like this and i'm going to run once again because i just require one entry for now and here it has been created just the admin entry required for login into the admin panel okay so in the next video we are going to uh, add the login functionality to login into the admin panel and also we're going to work on the logout okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time Goodbye.